Daniel was showed in a dream after he prayed to God with his, his friends and asked for the answer to this. And I'm going to skip over here. And I'll read this one last verse before we get into what we're talking about today. It says in verse 21 of chapter 2 of the book of Daniel, it says, And he changeth the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. In order to discern the times, you must have a high-level friend that understands what the king is saying. In other words, the king is representative of God. The captain is representative of a high-level friend that you have. Daniel is you in this case. God is showing you a dream that he wants to be fulfilled. See, it's Daniel that went back in to the palace to help the king. It's Daniel who received the answer from God. God is trying to get some things through to you about your dream. And your dream is always to help someone else to fulfill their dream. That's the most important key here, is that your dream directly influences someone high up or high level who you're going to have influence over. Because guess what? When Daniel went back and revealed this thing to the king, let's check it out. Let's see what it says. It says in verse 25, Then Ariok brought and Daniel before the king in haste. That means quickly. <laughs> let's get this thing done right now, man. And it says, uh, he said unto him, I have found a man of the captives that will make this thing known unto the king. And then the king answered in the next verse and said, um, the king answered him and said in the next verse to Daniel, whose name was Belteshazzar, Art thou able to make known unto me the dream which I have seen and the interpretation thereof? And like I said, this king is having some difficulties in his spirit. He's troubled about which way his kingdom should go. And now Daniel, who is you, have the interpretation of that dream. And it says in the next verse, verse 20, 27, Daniel answered in the presence of the king and said, The secret which the king hath demanded cannot the wise the secret which the king hath demanded cannot the wise men, the astrologers, the magicians, the soothsayers show unto the king. That means that he has all of these people in his court who he had paid um, to be on his staff to give him counsel about wise things and about um, spiritual things and about um, so many different things. Could not give him an answer. But here it is. Um, little old Daniel <laughs> is coming in to... Um, who was not high level, by the way. He was a very low level at the time. Was coming in to give the interpretation to the king. And it says in verse um, 29, let's skip over 29. As for thee, O king, thy thoughts came into thy mind upon thy bed. What should come to pass hereafter? And he revealeth secrets, maketh known unto thee what shall come to pass. Verse 30 says, But as for me, this secret is not revealed. To me, for any wisdom that I have more than any living thing, but for their sakes that shall make... In verse 29 he says, As for thee, O king, thy thoughts came into thy mind upon thy bed, meaning that he had had a dream in secret. When you go to bed and have a dream, nobody knows your dream unless you tell them the dream. But Daniel said, Here it is how it happens. He's using the gift of prophecy to interpret this man's dream. And he says at the end of that verse, he says, I will make known to thee what shall come to pass. Meaning that God had given Daniel a gift to um, discern the times, to understand what was about to happen in the kingdom. And here it is. He gave the interpretation to that king. And so my question to you is, what is your dream? Your dream directly influences someone. Your dream directly influences someone up high level. Skip down to verse 47. It says, the king answered. This is after Daniel told him the dream. It says in verse 47, the king answered 
unto Daniel and said, Of a truth it is that your God is a God of gods and Lord of kings and a revealer of secrets, seeing that thou couldst reveal this secret. And it says that in verse 48, Then the king made Daniel a great man and gave him many great gifts and made him a ruler over the whole province of Babylon and the chief of governors over all the wise men of Babylon. Do you see how your dream is directly influencing someone else? Your dream um, that God has given you in your heart is going to directly influence someone high up who has the authority to make you a ruler, a great man, a great woman, a great individual, a great person. The king or the one high up, the high level boss, the high level networker, the high level influencer is going to be directly influenced by your dream that God has given you in your heart for you to do, for you to fulfill that book, that business, that ministry, that practice, that website. But you have to work on your side of the dream. You have to seek the desire of mercy from God, that he will reveal to you the dream that you have forgotten about, the dream that you haven't been working on, the dream that's going to take place very shortly in these times. And I'm going to give you the key to do that. Here it is. 